Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will not start with new coding or something like that. I would like more to give a short summary or wrap up of the last two years and also tell you how I can imagine the future of this YouTube channel and also the different tutorials and what to expect in the next couple of months and hopefully also years. So first of all, um, the videos will still continue. So I gave have a short, let's say, creativity break where I just need some time to really think how to continue with everything. And um, yeah, I have a good guideline, let's say, how to f how to work on the next two, uh, two, three more uh, years, I uh, guess. But I would like to give a short intro on what to expect in the next couple of months and also to have a look at our playlists we have here on this channel. So I think it is a pretty nice and solid foundation for you to work on more content. So uh, well, not only work content, but also to based on the learning to apply it for your own uh, science work. Like we have this playlist here, the space science with Python with the very generic videos I created and there will be more in the future where you can really jump in between and have a look at it. We have then also our tools and software and space or space science and concept playlist. Well, I somehow neglected this playlist a little bit um, and I would like to work also more here. Um, I will give a short update here in this regard in a few in a few seconds. And then also our two um, or the three machine learning projects. We have here the ML project with the asteroid spectra. Then we have our near earth object project, which is, yeah, it doesn't really con include machine learning, but um, it's more about really functional programming. And then we have our Cassini calibration uh, playlist. And this was also a little bit the reason why I do this video because yeah, I was thinking that the complexity and the niche knowledge was a little bit too extreme in this video. I think it was too much of a topic that is uh, not interesting for the, let's say general public or for the general coders and open source contributors as you are. So this was a little bit slightly of an overkill, I guess. So how can I imagine the videos in the next couple of months? So of course, space science is still the center of this YouTube channel, I would say, and also Python. So there will be like um, the space science in the very center of our here in our graph and then we have of course the relation to python and telling or talking about python how we can apply use python to do some space science of course i would like also to focus sometimes uh, more on this playlist science and concepts so no fancy animation just let's say lecture like presentations short ones maximum 10 minutes where i will talk more about science relations and so on so really split up a little bit the science and the python part to um, not exceed the video length. So I think this would also be like a part. And then of course our machine learning part, which is still a big or oh, an exclusively big subset of the Python part because well, Python is a language I use for machine learning all the time. So we will stick with Python in this regard. And this is then the third major part. And then the fourth one here is this project working. So actually, yeah, the, the the, 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 the structure will remain the same, I would say, but I would like to have more um, variety in my YouTube channels and not only focusing on coding all the time, but also talking more about the concept parts. And then also the fifth big part, uh, tools and software, because there are a lot of libraries out there, also Python libraries. I only mentioned them quickly. I have this um, small repository and the link is also in the description where I summarize some space science related Python libraries. But sometimes maybe creating a short video of one, two minutes where I can show you how to download certain data or how to parse or load or analyze the data would be maybe quite nice. So not overloading you with two large videos, but really with maybe short videos that show some basic functionalities for you to have some kind of, kind of foundation. So this is how I imagine the videos in the next uh, couple of months and years where uh, I will keep up a little bit this structure. Uh, and I think it's also a nice mixture because it also gives me some kind of sometimes creativity break. Like now I'm a little bit in a creativity break for coding because at my, let's say, normal work, I have a lot of coding stuff. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes to continue coding in the free time. And, um, but I think, yeah, we, we can, we can live with that, I guess. And 
I think this all in all is I think a good foundation for the next for the for the future. Now also I think um maybe we will start also creating um some some community um not only here on this channel where I sometimes post but I'm thinking to create some kind of space science with python subreddit or something like that where you can also share your information you share your thoughts and also maybe working on a library or something like that because I think there could be nice contributions to the open source community and I think this would be pretty huge but yeah I think for now I will not do it well we are almost here 2000 followers which is a nice nice little community here and it's a, a lot of fun and another thing I would like to mention is that um, what did I wanted to mention? Well, I totally lost my words now, which is really awkward. But well, I will not make any cuts now. You have to be have to be honest. What I want to tell you, um, yeah, exactly. The next the next projects. Um, so the next projects will also will now be about meteors. I have I mentioned it already in the community that we will talk a little bit of the science of the falling stars and how they um, how they appear we will talk about the science we will talk about them the tools and also use python and then maybe a little later also machine learning so scatter it a little bit around to uh, to, to to work on this new concept and um i think also that the older videos especially the very first ones they are the ones where I had let's say a broken mic and I was also talking not fluently and freely like I do now I'm still looking in the camera I don't see any reactions but still I feel more comfortable and I think I would like to redo some videos about how to set up a virtual environment how to set up maybe the things in Google Colab and so on um, I would also try to avoid certain libraries that are maybe too complex now but that have too many requirements Maybe there will be some specialized things in the future, but I think we should keep it lean and clean. And I think this videos would also be helpful as some kind of repetition, I know, but um, this channel is now here since two years. Some of you joined maybe only yeah, the last couple of months or weeks or so. Some of you do not want to see the old videos and are wondering, okay, how can I start now? And I think uh, we can make a fresh start with some new videos in the beginning, how to set up environments and so on. Um, on the on the machine. I still have also the idea and thought on how to use generative AI more because this is something I do in my let's say daily business gen AI. Um, thinking also about stable diffusion for astronomy there are certain cases I don't want to jump too much on a hype train because a lot of people use this and there are a lot of content already out there um, with different admiring varying uh, quality so I don't know if I want to jump on this hype train here but um, yeah you can share your thoughts about this um, maybe yeah, using other less prominent um, very uh, um, gen AI methods like I don't know variation autoencoders the old basic stuff right so that I can show you some other concepts that are maybe not as fancy as the others but it's a small community and it's a lot of fun so yeah um, I think this sh short break will um, will will be gone now. Um, next week we do a small video um, about the again this virtual environment, showing you how to update everything and also talk a little bit more about the repository, especially for those of you who are new on this channel. And um, yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. And until next time.